Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today, I will be introducing the Microsoft OneDrive components from within the SSIS Productivity Pack. The SSIS Productivity Pack is a collection of premium SSIS components which enable greater developer productivity and increases the power of SSIS. As of this recording, the SSIS Productivity Pack offers three OneDrive components. The OneDrive Connection Manager can be used to establish connections with OneDrive. The OneDrive Source Components can be used to read and retrieve data from OneDrive. And the OneDrive Destination Components can be used to write data to OneDrive. This tutorial will assume that you have the SSIS bits installed, otherwise you will not see the SSIS project type here. In the Business Intelligence template, Select the Integration Services project and give your project a name. Press OK to create the solution. SSIS is an ETL platform that can be used to implement data migration and integration using its drag and drop capabilities. To begin the SSIS implementation using our toolkit, we will configure the Connection Manager to manage the connections with Microsoft OneDrive. Before configuring the Connection Manager, it is important to note that our software uses registry to store tokens that is retrieved from the OneDrive app through the OneDrive Connection Manager. In order to write these tokens to the local machine registry hive, you would need to give the proper permissions to the folder. I will explain this later in more detail. Let's go to the HKey local machine, software, and select the Kingsway Soft folder. I will give permissions to the necessary user. If you are going to deploy this package to a different server, remember to assign the new server proper permissions to write to registry. All the privilege setup is only necessary when you choose to store the tokens in the local machine. There is also the option to store the tokens to the current user, in which case the privilege setup is not necessary. Right-click on the Connection Manager area and click New Connection. In the Add SSIS Connection Manager dialog box, select the Connection Manager for OneDrive and press Add. The Connection Manager uses tokens generated by the OneDrive app once you give authorization, which will be seen in the next step. Since these tokens are stored in registry, you have the option to choose if you would like to store them in the default local machine location or in a more secure current user location. Begin by entering in your information for OneDrive. To do this, you would select the Edit Account Information button and use the web browser page to sign in and complete the authentication process. By completing the OAuth authentication, this will authorize our app to generate OneDrive tokens. You can now see that the account name and account ID have been populated for you. There is a timeout setting where a default of 120 seconds is specified for OneDrive. This determines the maximum amount of time that the OneDrive Connection Manager will wait while trying to establish a connection to the OneDrive server. There is also an option to retry on intermittent errors. This option is intended to help recover from possible intermittent outages or disruption of service so that the integration does not have to be stopped due to temporary networking issues. We have designed this option so it should only retry when it is deemed to be safe to do so. However, there may be exceptions. In the Advanced Settings tab, you may enter in your proxy information if you are behind a proxy server. If you are not using a proxy, you can ignore this section. I will now test the connection to ensure that I can successfully make a connection to the OneDrive server. Using the OneDrive Connection Manager to perform application authorization is only one of the ways to manage OneDrive tokens. Our software is also shipped with the OneDrive Token Manager utility, which allows you to add, change, or remove tokens. In addition to this, you can use the utility program to export and import tokens so that you can transfer tokens from one system to another. As you can see from the utility program user interface, the token location is displayed. 
It also displays the expiration date time value of each token. If the tokens have already expired, the next time our component connects to OneDrive, the OneDrive Connection Manager will automatically request a new token from OneDrive. It will then replace the existing token with a new token. Note that our software manages the tokens after the initial authorization is done. So, for example, in your production environment, you should only need to run the Token Manager program once to set up the initial tokens. When setting up your tokens, you can import the tokens from the server used to develop your packages on. Alternatively, you can do an initial setup by clicking on the Edit Account Information button in the SSIS Connection Manager UI if you have access to Visual Studio tools on the server. A component will take over from there and will automatically refresh tokens when the SSIS integration job kicks in past the expiration daytime value of the token. After creating the OneDrive Connection Manager, you can start to create the data flow task to facilitate data integration. Within the data flow task, we offer two data flow components that would help you to implement integration solutions for OneDrive. The first component we will discuss is the source component, which is what you would use to read data from the OneDrive server. Later in the demo, we will show you the destination component, which is what you will be using to write data into OneDrive. If you're using SSIS 2012 or later, you should automatically see these data flow components in the toolbox of the data flow view. If you do not see any components, you can click the SSIS Toolbox button here. Note that if you are using SSIS 2008 R2 or earlier, you would need to manually add these components to the SSIS Dataflow Toolbox. Let me pull out an SSIS 2008 environment to show you how the process looks like. You would make sure that you are in the Dataflow view or else you will not see the items. Right click on the toolbox and select Choose Items. Now click on the SSIS Dataflow Items tab and add the OneDrive source and destination component. Let's go back to SSIS 2012. The OneDrive source component facilitates reading data from the Microsoft OneDrive server. We will drag this component onto the design surface and double click to configure it. We will start by selecting the connection manager we have just created. If we click on the button right beside the source item path, we can see the folder structure of OneDrive. For this demo, we are going to copy all files within the general information folder into a different OneDrive instance. The item selection mode consists of different options you can use when reading from OneDrive. The default recursive includes retrieving all files and folder within every level starting with the source item path you have selected. If you would like to retrieve just files recursively, you would choose the recursive files only option. The selected item mode will retrieve the particular item specified. To retrieve just the items in the particular folder level selected, you would use the selected level mode, while the selected levels file only option would retrieve all files in the level selected. We will now go to the columns page where you can specify what fields to read data from. By default, all the fields are selected. The best practice would be to only select the fields that you need to use in the downstream pipeline component. Notice that we have a refresh component button, which you can click to refresh the component to the latest metadata from the OneDrive server. Let's press the OK button to finish the configuration of the source component. After configuring the source component, the next thing we will do is create a OneDrive destination component to write data to OneDrive. You may not necessarily need to use a OneDrive destination component. You may be writing into another application or database system. To illustrate the purpose of the destination component, we will drag this target component from the SSIS toolbox and connect the OneDrive source component to the destination. 
After we open this component, we will create a new OneDrive connection manager which will point to a different OneDrive instance. The next thing you'll notice is that there are three action types that can be performed when writing data to the OneDrive server. The create action will create new OneDrive records, while the update action will update any records based on the primary key value, which is the ID field. This field is also required when performing a delete action to delete selected OneDrive records. We will create OneDrive records. If we head over to the columns page, you can see that the OneDrive fields have automatically been mapped based on a name match. If this is not the case with you, you can configure individual mappings by selecting the input columns dropdown. The error message below indicates that only the parent reference ID or path must be mapped. I will unmap either one of these. Note that the file content field takes the binary content of the file as its input, while the is folder field specifies whether the input record is a file or folder. Notice that there is also a refresh component button, similar to the source component, where our software will retrieve the latest metadata and update the component. The error handling page contains three error handling mechanisms to choose from to determine how errors should be handled when they occur. The default option fail on error will fail the component completely. The redirect rows to error output option will redirect the rows that have failed to the destination component's error output. In addition, an error code, error column, and error message output column can be found in the error output that contain either the error message reported by OneDrive or the component. The ignore error option will ignore the error. This option is generally not recommended as the component will remain silent for any errors that have occurred. The default output will apply to the ignore error option as well. There is also the Enable Columns for Default Output section, which you can use to enable or disable the additional columns in the Destination Components default output. The Items ID gives the newly created ID value of the OneDrive record. You also have the option to read the Item Parent ID and Item Parent Path columns. We can now execute this data flow task. If we go to our OneDrive application, we will see that our data has been migrated. This concludes a demonstration of the OneDrive components within our SSIS Productivity Pack. There are many other components in the SSIS Productivity Pack that enable developers to accomplish more in SSIS in a much more productive fashion. Please feel free to take a look at our other videos available for viewing on our website or YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. For any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us.